Our global rock star, Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> it was an event human rights organizations and democracy advocacy groups had planned to attend for quite some time because the topic of discussion was progress and challenges in Latin America. And after the State Department's controversial decision to recognize the Honduran elections, the question of progress quickly turned to contradiction. We want to be on the side of the Honduran people. We want to work closely with others in the region. Secretary Clinton reaffirmed the decision to support the election as essential to progress and democracy in Honduras and throughout Latin America. We've continued to try to reach out and work with diverse sectors in Honduras. They're sticking to the script, basically. Uh, we obviously disagree with it. But just blocks away from the State Department at George Washington University, a group of Hondurians, scholars, and an official from President Manuel Zelaya's administration believe the State Department's latest policies in Latin America have destroyed President Obama's message of multilateral and honest engagement. Obama's reputation in Latin America is irreparably damaged and Latin America is divided much more strongly than divided than it was prior to the Honduran coup as a result of the mismanagement um, of the State Department with regards to its policy vis-a-vis uh, -vis Honduras. When asked about growing influence from U.S. adversaries like Venezuela, Bolivia, Iran, and North Korea in Latin America, Clinton said the renewed relationships is of concern to the United States. Are well aware of Iran's interests in uh, promoting itself uh, with a number of other countries, Venezuela and Bolivia, as you mentioned. Um, and we can only say that that is a really bad idea. The efforts on the part of Venezuela and other countries in Latin America to reach out to Iran, for example, are nothing, nothing more than a gesture to the world that there's recognition that these countries, these regions are probably in, same, in the same condition. If uh, countries in South America decide to talk to countries that the United States doesn't have friendly relations with, then all of a sudden they're somehow tainted. Analysts who have been monitoring the developments in Latin America and the U.S. involvement say the State Department is speaking in vague language to avoid the threat of military dictatorships like the one recently seen in Honduras and its future implications on the continent as a whole. Do you think in the long run this was a wise decision to recognize the Honduran elections in regards to the new way forward President Obama committed to in Trinidad and Tobago? I think what we did is we, we pronounced the elections uh, free and fair, that they were conducted in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an open and transparent way. Um, but Mr. Kelly, were... before the elections there were a lot of problems with human rights violations, judicial killings, executions. Yeah, and we were, and I mean, we were climate, very... How is it going to be a legitimate yeah, election? and we were very, uh, very uh, open about our concerns. Although the State Department continues to reiterate its decision to recognize the questionable Honduran elections as essential to reconciliation in Latin America, democracy and advocacy groups, human rights organizations, and a majority of Latin American countries and Hondurians think quite the contrary, which is why experts say the general consensus in Latin America is the Obama administration has damaged its reputation and hindered any possibility of a new way forward. Jahan Hafez, Press TV.